Autobots more than meets the eye. Autobots waits their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons. Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us. For this special figure showcase, we're going to be looking at the 1989 Japanese exclusive figure, Lasta. We've got loads to cram into this video today because he's such an amazing figure. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a quick look at him in both of his modes. So I'll transform him to and from between, and then you can decide how you want to display him. We'll have a look at all of his accessories, and then along with most of the other Japanese figures, the accessories can then be attached to the vehicle and to the robot himself. Um, we'll have a look at the new gimmick that they had at the time, which was known as Brain Masters, which is this little guy. Um, I've actually also got the European exclusive equivalent that came out a few years later as well to do a bit of comparisons. And then as I'm lucky enough to have a couple of different types of packaging, we can have a look at the battle scenes and the artwork on the back of that. Right, let's get started then. So, as I've just said, his name is Laster. His alternate mode is a beautiful Lamborghini Countach. They had loads of Lamborghinis in the Generation 1 figures, obviously. And it is quite blocky. Um, and it is very, very basic. Uh, the tyres are actually rubber, so that is something to be aware of. There's obviously a bit of chrome on the inside there. The whole uh, front window does actually come up like that. And then there's actually a place there if you want to. I'm not going to do it, and I'll show you why, where you can put his brain of skill, which is the name of his little man. You can put him in, you can fold his legs up, they'll just sit up, and they will sit in there. But because this guy is incredibly stiff, I don't want to run the risk of doing that. You've also got articulation in the arms as well, but that's quite loose, so that's okay. Um, so let's carry on with the alternate mode first and foremost. So as I say, there it is. It does look really nice. It is super, super basic. And the reason why it's super, super basic, you're going to see in a second, is due to this brain master. Before we transform him, as I've just said, the brilliant thing with most of the Japanese figures is that there's so much play playability. The play value is fantastic. So the accessories that come with him is just the sword. That's for when he's in robot mode. We've then got two other attachments. This is a gun that can be mounted in a minute on the roof. I'll show you. But you can also see that it turns into a fist. And funnily enough, that is the fist there we go on the same side on the right hand side of road caesar i'll show you in a bit more detail there he's also got this attachment and this again if we're looking at road caesar you can see becomes his foot shin plate and top i suppose of his upper thigh but the really cool thing as i say that you can do with all the japanese figures is if we fold that up like so you've got a dowel there we can attach that in there and then we can take what obviously was his fist typically i've tipped that back and it's just come off but i'll clip straight back in and then we've got another dowel there which will fit there so you've now got like a powered up mode and if ever you watch the cartoon they say transform and they shoot off they pretty much always look like this so the attachments or the kibble that you want to call it which attaches to make the combiner can actually all be used and attached to the vehicle like that you could even if you want to you could attach the sword to the side in his hand and then you can really power it up if you want. Again, playability is fantastic with these. Right, let's take these off then. Let's take these off. So that's all the stuff that comes, obviously, with the individual box and, of course, with the pieces in the main gift set. So this is a Brain Master. If you've not seen my Star Saber video or you don't really know what the gimmick is at all, it's a totally new gimmick that came out in Japan, say, 1989. And these little figures here, he's known as the Brain of Skill. And when he's built up into his robot mode or transformer, shall we say, this guy's supposed to look like a mini version of him, which to be fair, he does. Black chest, yellow legs and arms. But the really cool thing about this is not only can you just obviously fold his legs up to sit in the driver's seat, but when you push him up like that, you can see a large face appear. And that is going to be the large face that's going to appear in this car. So I said the transformation process is really simple. So here we go. We're going to literally just fold the legs out you'll have to excuse me i'm extremely nervous transforming these and there we go that folds out and clicks there's the legs super simple you can see there's that huge chest bit we we're on about there if i hold the windshield down now and carefully carefully pull that over there we go the arms just move forward the hands just flick out like so very very basic transformation and due to that 
we do obviously suffer with a lot of articulation. You can see we've got movement there at what would be the shoulder. The legs just move a little bit there. But of course, now you can see that he's missing his head. So of course, if you haven't got the brain master, you don't really want to be um, displaying him in this mode. You could probably get away with it, but I personally wouldn't be for obvious reasons. So here is the brain master. This is the fantastic gimmick that I was on about. So you pull down the chest place. Oh, it's so stiff. All of these are really stiff. Bear with me a sec. There we go, phew. So it does drop down like so. I'm quite lucky with a lot of these. They just clearly weren't played with as a child. So he's in position. We're gonna push this up. See the face start to appear? I'm gonna do that again because it's so cool. So there he is, he's in position. And let's close the chest and carefully. Yep, there we go. There is the robot mode. And as I said, that is the mini version is just exactly that. It's a mini version of what he looks like. There is his robot mode. We can now, of course, attach the sword into his hand there if we want to. We can then have the fist part again. This can actually be a gun if you want to and attach it there in his other hand, like so. And then because he's got holes for dowels on either side of the front of his forearm, you can then duplicate this up any way you want as a shield, either that way so it's going on the grey side, or if you want to, you can put it on this side. There's so many different things that you can do with these. Again, the playability factor is phenomenal. So I did mention a couple of times, I've just realised that he did come out in 1989. He was a Japanese exclusive, but then in 1991 it is, I was just confirming that it was 91. He was slightly retooled, I think, definitely redecoed, and his name was known as Flame. And there he is. And they were now known as, I think they were called motivators. They were, they were dubbed as motivators. So you can see they've changed, obviously, the chest cover. They've changed a bit of the stickers, but they still had the same gimmick. That was still the same gimmick. Um, and again, these were European and Australasian exclusives, I believe. So the Japanese were first, and then the European ones after. And then, unfortunately, I don't think America got them at all. So there we go. Very, very cool figures. Let me just move him over here a second. The instructions that come with the main gift set are, of course, all in Japan. And you've just got, same as with the uh, Land Cross, you've got the, the individual transformations for all the different vehicles and then how to combine him afterwards. Let's have a look at Road Caesar himself. Then. So there we go. You can tell, yeah, he just fits in the camera perfect. So obviously Laster is his right leg. Braver is the other character. I'm going to be doing a video on him. And, oh no, <laughs> I've just remembered his name's Gripper, but that's the UK one. Um, it'll come to me in a second anyway, but I'm doing individual videos on them all. And when they combine, they make the quite impressive Road Caesar. And I really like this. And again, it's one of the main reasons why I started collecting Japanese Transformers, because they're just what you can do with them is just phenomenal. So there, of course, is his shield or whichever roof gun is in position. Um, there's, of course, the fist. But then again, like with a lot of the Japanese things, the sword you can see is a combined form of all three of the individual swords. So again, everything's combining. It's just fantastic. Right, let's have a quick look at one of the boxes then. So this is the individual box. And you've got at the top... It says C321, so that's Cybertron, which is an Autobot, and his corresponding number is 321. We've got, of course, the very basic transformation there, showing you the Brain Master gimmick on the top, and they chose to have the shield with the guns at the back there. Now, again, the cool thing with these, if you don't really know, so on the inside flaps there, we've got... Oh, I'm going to try not to knock him over. There we go, Rasta. We've got his bio card. We've got his collector's card. And then before we come to the artwork on the back, we should have, unless the previous owners had it. Nope, there they are, the robot points as well. So the brilliant thing for that is you don't have to cut any of the back open at all. There's the three teams, sorry, three members of the team. And of course, there's the combined form. And there's that beautiful victory artwork, which I'm going to show you a bit better with a larger gift set in a second. So that's the individual packet for him. Three, two, one. And this is the gift set, 323, three, because you've got 320, who would be the one who's typically, his name's evading me at the moment. Last is 321, Brave is 322, two, and then the combined 
form is three, two, three. So even the combiner box, of course, it has its own issue. Right, let's, you can see the figures, I've kept them in there as well. And again, just to remind you, that obviously looks like a much smaller version of him. So clever, so, so clever. Right, let's have a look at this artwork then. I love the artwork at the bottom of the box there, of the three individual butts. And there, of course, is the ginormous artwork for Rhodes Caesar himself. If we spin it round, let's have a look at this victory artwork. There you go. Star Saber, of course. Desarus. Rhodes Caesar. Oh, yeah, there's Rhodes Caesar. He's there as well. Brilliant. Dino King there. Lovely. Great box. Great toy. Uh, again, shame it never made its way across the shores to us. Um, I know we had these a bit later on, but ironically enough, these didn't come with all the kibble to combine them. Same as the Rescue Force, which basically was a bit of lie okay, is it? But there you go. So this is going to be the start of, not a new feature, but I did a big thing with um, Star Saber and of course made up to Victory Saber. What I'm going to be doing now is this. So I'm going to be doing the individual bots like so. I'll put them in their own playlist. You can watch whichever ones you want. Um, and then of course I will do a combined road caesar video as well so there you go guys i hope you enjoyed looking at it i hope it was educational for you because i'm getting loads of comments that people want to see the japanese figures i uh, want to see a bit more about them and it's yeah it's great for me as well to get them off the shelves have a bit of a play with them as well so uh perfect hope you enjoyed it hope you enjoyed looking at them with regards to obviously to how you want to display them etc it i suppose obviously all depends on on the accessories that you get with them car you can display you don't need any accessories whatsoever but as you can see he does look quite cool with all of his accessories there but you could just get away with the head as well so there we go there he is 1989 japanese exclusive road caesar team member victory cartoon character and hope you enjoyed looking at him and take care guys see you soon thanks for watching like and comment and don't forget to subscribe.